I checked your speed at 73. Oh, I thought it was 65, I'm sorry. Okay. I was just we were wrestling in uh, Huntington tonight on our way to Columbus. Who are you wrestling for? WWE. Is that right? Nobody else. <laughs> somebody on TV or something? Yeah, world champion. What, what do you go by? Rob Van Dam, RBD. Oh, okay, I've heard of you. Yeah. What's your name, ball? Sad move. Sad move. <laughs> it's 55, man. Yeah, I didn't, I'm sorry, I didn't realize. I thought it was 65. You're rolling pretty hard. I don't need to do that. No. You always drive with your shirt off? <laughs> it was very hot leaving the area. No, I don't. You wrestled tonight? Really yeah, just a few minutes ago. Do you have any marijuana, gun, crimes, drugs, anything like that in the vehicle? Can you explain to me why your car smells like dope? Should be a pretty quick Funko Pop unboxing today, as I've just got the one pop in this pretty small but very sturdy box here from those purveyors of pop culture down in Australia called Pop Culture. How appropriate. This one is a brand new release. I've been keeping an eye on it, not pre-ordering because that's just shit doing that. <laughs> But keeping an eye on Pop Culture's website and one or two others, I saw that it was in stock before a couple of other common pops in this particular line that I also want, but they're still only available for pre-order at the time of me recording this anyway. Perhaps by the time this video is published, they may be in stock somewhere. Anyway, let's get it open. Once again, like with the San Diego Comic Con Funko Pops that I showed you a week or so ago, this hasn't taken long to come at all, so I think we're in a pretty good period for things not sitting around at Melbourne Airport too long. But don't blame me if you decide to purchase something from Pop Culture and then it stays about three weeks at the airport. I think maybe I might have got lucky really with my last couple of Pop Culture orders. I don't mind waiting, because things have got to turn up and there's nothing wrong with exercising a little patience. Oh yeah! Fantastic. Uh, price of this was hmm, at the usual pop culture price, maybe a little bit more than a common pop would have been, but certainly under £20, including postage, after conversion from Australian dollary dues. Right then, today I'm going to show you number 117, quite a low number still in comparison with a lot of Funko line numbering, but it's in the WWE range and it's the special edition Rob Van Dam. RVD etc yes and this is one of the special pops with pins as well you might just be able to see I don't know if it's fallen out of place or whether it's supposed to be just there but there is a pin there we will get that out and have a look I don't display the pins although all my wrestlers are out of box anything that's come with a pin and I think I've only had one other that's come with a pin as well that's been Eddie Guerrero I think I've just left the pin in the box, as nice as it is. I save all the boxes, obviously. What have we got on the back? Ah, so we have got a look at some of the new line that I'm waiting for, actually. As well as some of the older ones, uh, like Angelo Dawkins and Montes Ford of the Street Profits, which I have, and Jerry Lawler, which I also have. There's a newer version of Asuka, but I've got an older San Diego Comic Con exclusive version of her. But here's the two that I'm hoping will come in stock somewhere pretty soon. Number 114, Dusty Rhodes, and 115, Matt Riddle. There's also a new Randy Orton coming out, but I won't be picking that up because I've got an older variant of Randy Orton. Right then, let's get RVD out of his BOX. Oh, it's coming a little bit of extra plastic, the pin. It's a WrestleMania 22 pin. Yeah, I don't think I want to unwrap it from the actual wrapping, but it's just a nice metal pin of the WrestleMania 22 logo. That was an event that was pretty important in RVD's career as um, he won Money in the Bank that year. And you shall see him in his Money in the Bank match glory in a moment. 
And here he is, Rob Van Dam. He's a WWE Hall of Famer. He was arguably ECW's hottest commodity from, I would say, at least 1997, really through to its dying days in 2001. He held the ECW Television Championship for almost two years. Would have probably held it for longer had he not got injured and had to vacate that title. He joined WWF as it was back then in 2001. He was probably one of the few bright spots in the rather bungled invasion angle of that year. One of the biggest baby faces and really never really played anything other than a face in WWE. But um, he was a multi-time intercontinental champion and probably one of the most popular guys on the WWE roster who'd never held a world title until 2006 where he won money in the bank at wrestlemania 22 as i mentioned and then at the second annual ecw one night stand pay-per-view he defeated john cena to win his very first wwe championship and then a couple of nights or so later he was awarded the reactivated ecw world heavyweight championship by Paul Heyman, so he finally became an ECW world champion, and then he got arrested for having drugs in his car with Sabu, not too long afterwards, so his reigns with both those world titles didn't last very long, but um, it's nice that they've got him here with his personalised money in the bank briefcase. Yeah, briefcase. Yes, it's a briefcase. Oh, briefcase! It's got the RVD logo, I don't know, spray painted or whatever on the front of that. Nice RVD ponytail there, he's sort of his slightly strawberry blonde hair shaved at the sides and he's got his singlet on, he always had some really colourful and unique wrestling attire. Black knee pads, black sort of gloves slash wristbands, black boots, really nice pop and he's a WWE pop who will be staying out of box because all mine stay out of box. So there we are, told you that'd be a fairly quick one. Rob Van Dam, the special edition from pop culture plus it came with the very nice but i won't be putting it anywhere in particular i'll just be keeping it in the box at least for the time being wrestlemania pin there hope you've enjoyed this look at the whole effing show here today thank you all for watching and i want to say special thanks as i always do and always will to my wonderful subscribers and generous patrons please see all my funko affiliates and discount codes in the description text box you can avail yourself of some bargains, I'm sure. And also down there is my Patreon link, my Facebook group link to get social with other collectors, and a link for content insurance too. I'm going to go now. Got to make some room for Rob Van Dam, the ECW icon, WWE Hall of Famer, and a bloke who has been a very big advocate for the smoking of the old Rastafarian old Holborn for quite some years now. Got to put him in the cabinet. <laughs> Don't know where I was going with that. But anyway, um, happy to have Rob Van Dam here today. Hopefully, I'll be showing you some more WWE pops in the not too distant future. And I do hope you join me for that and for my inevitable next Funko Pop unboxing video. Cheers, everyone. See ya!